Hey there, Mike Arnson here. I want to, I'm here to wish you a uh, happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. Uh, I actually thought this year, uh, Christmas 2021, year of the plague, that I, <laughs> that I would share a uh, reading over YouTube with uh, of, of one of my flash fiction pieces, very short, you know, 600 word or so story. Uh, it's a Christmas holiday story. Uh, this one is ca called All Naughty, No Nice, and it appeared in this book, uh, Collected Christmas Horror Shorts, uh, produced by Kevin J. Kennedy. He's done a number of these holiday horror fiction collections. And in fact, uh, not only am I in that one, I'm also in Volume 2, uh, Collected Christmas Horror Shorts 2, uh, with a story about a, let's just say, vampiric Santa Claus? <laughs> Well, this story is about a different kind of Santa Claus. It's pretty dark, I suppose. It's called All Na Naughty, No Nice. The letters had stopped coming, but he still had his magic list. He still checked it twice. He hoped for a change, but still it proclaimed the kids were all naughty, no nice. Yet it is still Christmas, and Santa's still Santa. He rides his sleigh loaded up with gifts for those who no longer deserve them. The big bulky bag behind his seat remains full, and this weight slows down his flight, but still he must make his journey. Still he must deliver joy, if he can find it. He travels above rooftops, searching for someone, anyone, deserving of his finely wrapped packages. The air is always choppy, cold. It's a different kind of winter now, one that never ends. It's always Christmas for Santa. His work never ceases. It can't. The reindeer nags snarl and snap at each other while their bone-gray legs angrily churn in the snow-laden air. His heavy red sleigh courses through dirty orange clouds, moonlit and musty. Rudolph's nose no longer glows. It fell off weeks ago. Blitzen, three rows back, is dead in the air, a corpse hanging loosely in its harness across the sky. The others have chewed its dangling legs to the bone. All of their eyes are dead and gray, but they remain fueled by his magic and a hate he can't quite understand. Santa cracks his whip on the backs of the reindeer as he crosses the Canadian border. He scans the houses below, seeking any telltale signs of Christmas joy. But there are none. No fireplaces crackling smoke up to the sky. No decorated trees and city streets or fancy light displays. Just run-down factories and empty houses, shattered glass and crashed cars, empty shopping malls and city halls, fallen flagpoles and overgrown hedges. Everywhere, always, desolation. But the people, if they even are people anymore, are still down there. Harried and gaunt, they rove in bands of ugly starvation. Sometimes he spots children loping among the hungry hordes of the undead. Sometimes he imagines they look up at him above, smiling in the Christmas starlight. But he knows those sparkling teeth are just open-mouthed cries for food, for flesh, for him. Sometimes out of pity and other times out of boredom, he'll toss a colorful box down into the throng of creatures. They never quite pay attention to it and keep ambling en masse, kicking through its ribbons and wrapping paper. Instead of playing with their toys, they just raise their hands up toward the heavens, crying out at him for the one gift he refuses to give, himself, his body the sole survivor's flesh and blood. Sometimes he considers teasing them, leading them up to the North Pole, like some insane Pied Piper of the Damned. He knows he could shepherd them all, 
the whole world of these hungry monsters into one giant crowd of chewing mouths, a pile of creatures he could leap down into. He could deliver to mankind a final gift of his fatty flesh, and it would make for a fine Christmas meal. Oh, yes, it would. But he refuses to believe that he is really so abandoned, so alone. He keeps hoping he'll find someone, anyone, with a soul left to serve. His magic does not help him understand what has happened. It just keeps him alive, in flight, sailing in the sky with his hideously transformed reindeer and all those wasted gifts. He keeps searching for survivors and checking his list, checking it twice. He hopes for a change, but it always proclaims, the kids are all naughty, no nice. Well, on that pessimistic note, <laughs> I wish you a sincere happy holidays uh, and uh, peace to all. See you online and in the books.